Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan and the topic is Contribution, Section 9, Section 9A, Section 9B, Section 10, Section 11 and Section 11A of the Employees Old Age Benefits Act 1976. Section 9, key heading hai Rates and Assessment. Very plain language hai. Are you Section 9, subsection 1, on and from the first day of July 1976, contributions shall be payable every month by the employer to the institution in respect of every person in his insurable employment at the rate of 6% of his wages in the prescribed manner. So, what is this? contributions हैं insurable employees के मुतलक हर employer जो है वो हर महीने contribution जो है वो institution को pay करेगा provided further that no contribution shall be payable in respect of an insured person who is in receipt of old age pension under this act or has attained the age of 60 years or 55 years in the case of a woman. So, this proviso has been added to this, that these people who insured persons and who are old age pension receive this law, or these people who have been age 60 years old, and these who have been age 55 years old, there is no contribution to this contribution payable in this law. Next proviso ye bata raha hai ke provided also that in case of an employer opts for self-assessment scheme. Agar koi employer jo hai wo self-assessment scheme ke tahat is law ke tahat aata hai to he shall be liable to pay fixed amount of 150 rupees in respect of every person in his insurable employment irrespective of his wages or emoluments and the wages for the purpose of calculation of benefits shall be treated as 3000 rupees per month. Subsection 2 kya kya tha? Where an insured person does not receive any wages from the employer for any period, the institution shall subject to regulations determine the amount of wages with reference to which the contribution shall be computed. So, this situation, when an insured person who has no wages from his employer, then the contribution has to be computed in the amount of wages that is determined in the institution. Subsection 3 is the same. Proceed to section 9A. Its heading is Contribution by Government. The federal government may make such contribution to the institution as it may determine from time to time. So, federal government जो है वो तय कर सकती है कि उसने कितनी contribution इस institution को करनी है ये उसकी सवाब दीद है. Section 9B को अब पढ़ते हैं. Section 9B जो है वो contribution by insured person के उपर है, my dear students. On and from the first day of July 2001, the contribution shall be payable every month by an insured person at the rate of 20 rupees in the prescribed manner, my dear students. But a plain section tha ye. But a precise or concise tha. Language badi plain thi section ki. Section 10 ko dekhte hain. Records and returns by employers. Every employer shall keep such records and shall submit to the institution such returns at such times in such form and containing such particulars relating to persons employed by him as may be provided in regulations. Section 10 jo hai, wo is baat ko regulate kar raha hai ke jo employer hai wo record ko maintain karega aur returns jo hai wo institution ke paas jama karayega aur returns mein particulars honge jin ko Fulfill करना employer की जुम्मेदारी है. 
नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू सेक्शन 11 सेक्शन 11 क्या कहता है रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ एस्टेब्लिशमेंट एक्सेट्रा के ये जो इंप्लाइज ओल्ड एज बेनिफिट एक्ट है इसके तहत जो एस्टेब्लिशमेंट्स हैं उन्होंने अपने आप को रजिस्टर इस इंस्टीट्यूशन के पास करवाना है और इस जिम्मन में है कि एवरी इंप्लॉयर शेल बिफोर द एक्सपायरेशन ऑफ थर्टी डेज फ्रॉम द डे ऑन विच दिस एक्ट बिकम्स एप्लीकेबल टू द इंडस्ट्री और इस्टेब्लिशमेंट इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ विच ही इज द इंप्लॉयर कम्युनिकेट टू द इंस्टीट्यूशन द नेम एंड अदर प्रेस्क्राइब पर्टिकुलर ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री और इस्टेब्लिशमेंट एंड ऑफ Every insured person employed in the industry or establishment. तो ये industry और establishment की जिम्मेदारी है कि वो अपने insured persons को इस institution के पास register करवाए Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you very much indeed.